We have generative AI that creates art, that makes music, and writes and analyzes code. So why would something like business intelligence still be relevant? Now, let's think about it, right? Because generative AI actually works on vast amounts of data in order to actually to produce these creative outcomes. But where does the data come from? And how is it interpreted? And this is why business intelligence actually provides the structured and analytical foundation on which these AI models can be built on. Because it makes sure that the data that feeds into the AI systems is accurate, is relevant, and is well structured. Because also as AI generates all of these outputs, businesses need a mechanism you know, to translate these results into actionable insights. And BI tools and dashboards can definitely offer a great visual representation of AI generated data. And this is what makes it actionable for stakeholders and decision makers. So understanding BI is actually a necessity. And what better way to learn it than Google's BI certificate? When I think about business intelligence, my mind goes straight to dashboards and reports. But once you go through the material, you realize that there's a lot more there to uncover. So the certification is split into three main courses. You get the foundations of business intelligence, you get the path to insights and dashboards and reports. And I'm going to walk through each and every one of them. And I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons. And at the end, we're going to see what's the verdict. And the first course is a starting point to understand the role of BI professionals. They analyze data, they enhance business strategies, and they implement the insights. And I like the fact that Google's own BI professionals were sharing these ideas. You know, they were guiding me through the lessons and they were talking about real world scenarios. And I like that about all of Google's certificates, right? Because they follow the same approach because you realize that you're being guided by real professionals. But specifically, right, in this course, you're going to understand the distinction between BI and data analytics. You're going to get an overview of BI tools and the skills to manipulate and integrate data using various BI concepts. And I like the end of the course project because it definitely felt like a real world BI task where I got to create project planning documents documents and I got to work on a real business problem. Now there's one downside to it in my opinion and that's the fact that it felt a little bit like I was like leaning more towards just understanding the terms you know rather than the practical applications of it. But given that it's a foundational course it's expected to be a little bit more theoretical. Now the second course is the path to insights. In this one you're going to understand different data models right that are tailored specifically to business requirements. You're going to learn about the full ETL process and you're going to design data pipelines with the goal to automate BI processes. And in the end of the course, you're going to get to design your own pipeline process in order to deliver the required data. And then you're going to also create reports based on the project's requirements. And I found this course really great because to be honest, it's not too basic, but not too challenging either. And the delivery was also great as well. Now, the third and the final course dives deep into dashboards and reports. And this is where the data actually turns into decisions. And I think that it's a great one, right? But to be honest, look, I'm biased because I love simplifying information into beautiful charts. Now you're going to work iteratively, you know, to create charts and you're going to learn how to design complete dashboards and all of this with an eye on what stakeholders actually need from them, because you're going to learn how to present data insights in a way that resonates with someone that actually wants to leverage them. And it ends with a course project that can be used as a portfolio piece if you're just starting out. So look, what's the verdict for Google's business intelligence professional certificate on Coursera? Now let's think about it, right? It's created by Google's BI professionals. It gives us direct insights into the industry. Then it covers a broad range of BI essentials. And even more relevant is that it covers real world tasks and it preps you for interviews as well. Having all of this in mind, I'd say that it's definitely, definitely worth it because you can get through it in maybe even less than two months and you're going to be up and running as fast as possible. And look, you can simply start with a seven day free trial where you can check out the courses and make the decision afterwards. But to be honest, for the amount of information that you get, it's a no brainer. As I partnered with Coursera, I put a link down in the description to the certificate. So if you want to support this channel, use the link if you're considering taking Google's BI certificate. And I hope that this was helpful. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.